Peter Noon Herman from Herman's Hermits, and I'm very happy to be here. Arthur von Wiesenberger grew up in love with water. Whether he was fishing in it, or floating in it, or splashing around in it, or just standing there waiting for it to bobble up out of the ground, water has always captured his imagination. He spent his formative years in Europe and was exposed to the water and spa culture from an early age. After attending Aiglon College in Switzerland, he moved to Santa Barbara, California in the 1970s. It was in 1978 when he wrote his first book on bottled water entitled Oasis, the complete guide to bottled water throughout the world, which helped launch a career as a water consultant. His first client was Anheuser-Busch. Amongst the projects of his multi-year engagement was to find and secure mineral water sources for their various brands, which he did. And other beverage clients included Vitel, San Pellegrino, Evian, and Perrier. My first meeting with Arthur was in 1980 at the Plaza Hotel in New York City. I expected to meet a stuffy Austrian count. Somebody that thought he knew everything about the bottled water business. But to my surprise, Arthur was truly a wonderful person that was really searching for, to learn more about the bottled water industry and business. Arthur's friends all call him Nipper, a nickname given to him by his father, Arthur Sr. Now, Arthur Sr. was friends with the head of RCA Records. And RCA, as you remember, owned a famous dog called Nipper. I quickly learned that he was a man with many outstanding talents. Mr. Personality, Toastmaster extraordinaire. Sensational PR personality. Who could engage with anyone from the average person on the street to the Queen of England. He was very knowledgeable about many, many things. Lifestyle, food, beverages, bottled water, he was an amazing world traveler, a wine expert, a former nightclub owner in Beverly Hills, a TV and radio personality, an expert skier, and film producer on the slopes of Switzerland. Besides having great business acumen, he has many other outstanding personalities. Devoted father, son, companion, friend, and associate. He's caring and willing to share with all. He's genuinely an honest person to all and highly respected. He is liked and admired by many. Now, we all have faults, but I must say, knowing him for over 40 years as a close friend and business associate, Nipper really doesn't have many, if any. He is the real thing. He's a champion for this industry. He has been a champion for many years. It's my privilege and distinct honor to recognize Arthur von Wiesenberger as the 2020 Berkeley Springs Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations, Arthur. He wrote many books on bottled water, including H2O, The Guide to Quality Bottled Water, The Pocket Guide to Bottled Water and the Taste of Water. And he wrote and spoke about the importance of good water for numerous magazines, newspapers, as well as appeared on television, at conferences, and on the radio, a true star of stage, scream, ah, and radio. In 1980, 
he organized the first California water tasting, sponsored by the San Francisco Chronicle, working closely with Professor William Bruvold of UC Berkeley. He collected dozens of tap waters from around the San Francisco Bay Area. The results showed that not all water is created equally. In 1996, he launched the Bottled Water Web, which was recognized by popular science magazine as website of the month in 1998. Arthur, I want to congratulate you on receiving the Berkeley Springs International Bottled Water Tasting Lifetime Achievement Award. There is no one more deserving of this honor than you. For the past 30 years, you have worked to help make this the most prestigious water tasting in the world, and your knowledge about the many different types and brands of bottled water is unsurpassed. Now, I still remember when we first met, which was over 20 years ago, when I first joined the International Bottled Water Association. You were attending an IBWA convention and trade show, and you gave me a bumper sticker that reads, bottled water is better. Now that statement is as true now as it was 20 years ago, and I still keep that bumper sticker in my office. Through your many speeches and books, you have been a strong advocate for the bottled water industry, and that was most recently demonstrated when you served as a host of a bottled water tasting bar at the IBWA Annual Convention and Trade Show last November in Anaheim, California. I want to thank you for your many efforts to promote bottled water as a safe, healthy, convenient, great tasting product, but I particularly want to thank you for your friendship over the past 20 years, and I look forward to being with you in Berkeley Springs to celebrate your award and the 30th anniversary of the water tasting. Congratulations again. Cheers. He wrote books on other beverages and foods and was the food and wine editor for Santa Barbara magazine and hosted a number of award-winning radio and television programs on gastronomy. Many of his friends in the kitchen became national culinary stars. He also opened a couple of champagne clubs called Nippers, one on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and one in Montecito. And Nippers opened his world to lots of celebrities. Woke up this morning feeling fine, had a glass of water, said, this is mine. In 1990, he worked with Travel Berkeley Springs to organize what has become the Academy Awards of Water Tasting. Now, in its 30th years, Berkeley Springs has become the launch pad for many startups in the water industry. When he's not immersed or emerged in water, he's working for several non-profits. Unity, a fabulous Santa Barbara charity that helps families in financial distress. He also emcees the annual Unity Telethon, which has raised millions of dollars. He's also dedicated to animal welfare and produces and hosts the award-winning program Animal Zone. Now, in its fourth season, Animal Zone features animal adoption centers and welfare specialists. I just want to offer my sincerest congratulations to Arthur for his Lifetime Achievement Award for the Berkeley Springs International Water Tasting Seminar. Uh, he has had a lifelong uh, attraction uh, to water. It's an incredible uh, commodity, molecule. It's something that people take for granted in our world that is a miracle substance that allows us to be alive, that allows our planet uh, to exist in its form. And I'm so proud of Arthur for committing so many years and so much energy and leadership uh, to this great organization. Kudos to you, Arthur. He has traveled the world spreading the gospel about good water and how societies must protect and be stewards for their clean water sources. From France to Italy, from Basel to Beijing, water runs deep within his psyche. Good evening, everyone. A pleasure to be with you, particularly to honor my dear friend, Arthur von Wiesenberger, commonly known as Nipper. He'd be a Nipper too if your name was Arthur von Wiesenberger. Nipper and I have been friends for 35 years plus, and he's taught me everything I know about the better things in life. Nipper could have been called Bubbles 
because I remember in the old days when he used to have his caf caviar and champagne bars and I would hang out there from time to time and would learn about the finer things in life, the qualities of champagne, the different types of caviar. But that's a pretty rough way to go. And I think Nipper finally realized that too. So somewhere along the line, Arthur von Wiesenberger left caviar and champagne and went into water. And little did I know that I could have learned so much about water. From Nipper's first book, Oasis, he taught me so many things about the different qualities of water. And I've watched this man combine his vocation and his avocation both together and his joy of life and what he's created. I was very, pride, very proud one time to receive a, a birthday present from Arthur and he found these springs in the mountains in California and he named one of the springs Mikey Spring. And from then on, at Christmas time, I would get bottles from Mikey Spring, bottles of gassed water from Mikey Spring. I thought it was a pretty cheap way to give a present, but you know, what am I to say? Anyway, it was a great choice to give him a Lifetime Achievement Award. Nipper, I am so proud of you and enjoy yourself and have a great time with your friends. One minute. No, it's not a martini. So, cheers, Nipper. I love you. Have fun. Mmm. Nothing. Today, he continues his love affair with water and its many aspects and global importance. This is where I probably should be drinking a glass of water and singing some song from the 60s that's not forgotten. Like, I'm H2O, oh, I am 90% H2O, oh, I am. I got married to a bottle of water. She's blessed looking down, Mrs. Brown's daughter. <laughs>